welcome to a four string guitar lesson from Code of Tuition. So this is exciting. We are finally adding an extra string to the guitar. And this is just a little introductory lesson to show you how you can play in a couple of different tunings and how they're actually pretty similar to what is hopefully familiar to you, the, the standard three string tuning for Cigarbox guitars. Um, so there's a couple that I was using in that little demo there, uh, which are pretty widely used. And I'm just gonna show you how they relate to hopefully what you already know or you're half familiar with, and also different instruments as well. And then uh, we're just gonna be having look at a few lessons um, on different songs and different sort of styles and things uh, in the coming weeks. So I uh, overlaid using a loop pedal a couple of different parts there. The first one was using this particular tuning here. So this is very very similar to um, what is just our bog standard three string tune and it's basically D, G, D with an extra string on top, a B. And that straight away gives us loads of options because instead of it just being the D, G, D power chord, we can play what we call a major chord straight away. And I can still bar, so I can still like clamp my finger across all of the strings. Um, but this time, but that's actually a major chord as opposed to what we call a power chord, which is more of a neutral chord. Uh, and if I want to turn it into a minor chord, I can knock one of the notes back. I'm going to do another lesson in the near, very near future, which is covering chords and things in a bit more detail so you can get to grips with this tuning. But basically, it's more versatile because we've just got the extra string. So here's a standard three string in the bog standard G, D, G tuning. And basically uh, that is a power chord. So if I want to play what we call a major chord, I've got to go all the way up here and play fret four, which is fine, sounds great. Uh, if I wanted to say do that with C off a bar, if I just clamp across the strings, that is what we call a power chord. And so if I want, again, a major chord, I've got to go all the way up here to fret nine, which is sometimes a little bit of a punishing stretch for people. Or if I wanted to play a C minor, what I'd do is I'd move, so I've got the bar at fret five, and I'd move this little finger, pinky finger, down to fret eight. So C, C minor. Whereas with this four string, tuned to G, D, G, B, like I said, I've straight away got, if I just clamp across here, I've straight away got a C major bar chord, so I don't need to reach up at all, because uh, this note here is the same as going all the way up to fret number nine on the the second string, the, the, this G string here. Uh, or if instead of going down to minor like that, I can go C minor. So it actually makes the, the, the chord shapes far less stretchy having an extra string. Um, what is a little bit more difficult though is the strings are a lot more closer together so it means that it's a bit more fiddly you, you need to employ a bit more of a bridge uh, than, than with the standard three strings. So say the, the bar's the same, but if I wanted to say go for the C minor, like fret five and fret four right down here, then I'm having to really curl over quite tightly. So it's a little bit more, it might feel slightly more fiddly on the fretting hand. And if you're all curious as to what strings I'm using, I've used this particular set here, which is slightly heavier than normal. Uh, it's not massively heavy for an acoustic instrument, but it does have a wound third. So I've used string five, uh, which was a 38, string four, which was a 28, 21, these are the gauges, obviously, thicknesses, 21 wound, and then 14 for the second. Whereas this one, which I used to play the second part on that demo, uh, is using a higher tuning. It's still open G, so it's still a G chord. So I can completely play slide on this if I want, but it's actually using the equivalent of strings 4, 3, 2, 1, but tuned to D, 
G, B, and then D. So, whereas the previous guitar was effectively strings 5, 4, 3, 2 off a regular set, this is 4, 3, 2, 1. And so, i uh, just got some slightly different chord shapes. I can completely bar a game if I want. You can hear it's got a bit of a higher pitch sound, but we're missing the, the low G from up here. Uh, but if I wanted to say turn this into a minor, I've got to move this second string back this time. So I'll get this funny shape here. So there's a C for fret five, and then that's fret four on the second string, and then fret five on the others. It's the same deal with the as with the other guitar. These strings are closer together than your standard three strings, so I'm having to kind of use my wrist a bit, bridge round. Um, might feel like a slightly awkward shape for you know slightly more inflexible older older hands, older wrists, and stuff like that. But again, if you can get used to bridging over these, then you can definitely play a four string. So here's three string, and you can see actually the neck is a very similar width compared to four, but uh, the strings are spaced much more widely apart, so it is easier to bridge. You know, you, you might feel that you're using your wrist less, but uh, it's less stretchy when we're trying to play chords because we, we end up with the pinky finger right up there. So this is actually from the last series of uh, lessons we were looking at where we were like using the, the, the six pack in diff different tunings. So this is the one where we're in D, G, B. You know, so there's a G chord. So we were having a look at this before. There's a C chord. There's a D chord or a D5. Whereas on this guitar, I can play exactly the same shapes on uh, what are now strings two, three, four. So there's a G on frets five, four, three. And then there's a C on fret two, open fret one. And there's a D. But I've got this high D, so I need to just add in some extra notes. So if I want a full G chord, I can, I can do that. I can add in the pinky finger. And if I want a full C chord, I can add in, so I've got fret two, fret one, and I can add in this finger here. And then if I want a full D chord, so that was fret two, and if I want a full D chord, I can go all the way to fret four. So we're just basically, if you've had a look at any of those lessons where um, I was in that D, G, B tuning for three string, we're just basically extending that out slightly. And so the reason for like just comparing some of these is so hopefully you can see that everything's very related. You're definitely not learning a new instrument. You're just looking at extending, hopefully, what you already know uh, across a range of different three string tunings. And also, these particular tunings relate to different instruments as well. The most obvious one being a full six string guitar, which I have tuned to full open G. And so that particular tuning that we were just looking at there, that's the equivalent of strings four, three, two, one. So I could play the same shape that I was just playing there. Here's the G chord. Here's the C chord. Here's the D chord. Or going back to the other guitar, um, if I'm going to play the equivalent of strings four, three, two, five, four, three, sorry, then there's an open G. I can play this shape here and keep keep that low G ringing. That works particularly well. And then this time, I don't need string one, I'm just playing. And there's a C, just playing the middle four strings on this guitar. And here's the D I'm gonna reach up and play on fret uh, two. And that is the D. Which relates to this particular first one, which was the G, D, G, B. So 
same shape there's the G that's the same strings five four three two and then that's the C and then that's the D so basically you can start to um, like look at different using diff different tunings and then eventually you know if you've never tried playing regular guitar you might you've got a fighting chance of being able to you know sort of progress onto slightly more complicated stuff or even different instruments this being a five string banjo now uh, we've got this high drone string which is halfway down the neck attached the others are just attached to the um, standard pegs at the end of the neck but if we ignore this high drone string uh, strings one two three four are in fact tuned exactly the same as uh, the second the, the higher pitched four string cigarbox guitar so that would be d g b and d so that is open G tuning so standard five string banjo is tuned in a very similar way to Sagobot's guitar so look here's a here's a G shape here's a C shape here's a D shape and here's our D G B D higher twangy sounding Sagobot's guitar there's the G shape there's the C shape there's the D shape so same tuning as a banjo you know so you can even branch out and go full country uh, bluegrass if you want at some point at a later date and if you're interested for this higher pitch four string i've used this particular set uh, which is actually the same as the pack that i was using for the six pack four tunings for the the, th the three string over the last few months so here i've used strings four three two one i've just used a slightly heavier set and this one's useful because again it's got a wound third so i've used string four for low d which is a 32 gauge 24 wound for this third string 16 unwound and 12 unwound for strings one and two so that's it for this particular video so a bit of a whirlwind introduction to four string guitar if you've not come across it before um, compared to various other instruments different three string tunings uh, guitar banjo so hopefully it wasn't too confusing it's just basically showing you how it's all related all interrelated and what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're just going to be having a look at uh, using this particular high uh, string 4321 tuning and also the, the the previous one on the resonator uh, just having a look at how we can play some basic chords basic songs i often find that it's quite useful to play chords uh, just to get my bearings on new tunings on new instruments and then I've, I've got a rough idea of what I'm doing on the fretboard so watch this space and we will be looking at all of that using a couple of great classic rock songs very soon here on Cody Guitar.